So far this year, we've been on a lot of trips outside Tokyo, but this time we wanted to go for a short adventure into nature while staying close to home. The west of Tokyo is the perfect spot for a day trip into the countryside, with the towns here looking completely different to the hustle and bustle of Shinjuku just one hour away. Hey, thanks for joining us. We're at Akigawa Valley today, and look at this cool camp spot we just found. It's right next to the river and everyone looks like they're having so much fun. But today we're just going to be going for a walk through the valley. And then after that we might be going to like a cafe and maybe like a foot bath. We don't really know what we're doing, but that's the nature of today's trip. So let's go. Roy thought we were having a laid back travel day, but of course I have one adventure up my sleeve. We'll be trying a little later. First up though is a nice leisurely walk through the valley. If you're coming by train, Musashi Itsukaichi is the closest station. We came by car though, as it's usually easier to get around in the countryside. That looks like a really nice waterfall. Too bad we didn't bring our swimmers. <laughs> After exploring for a bit, we definitely regretted not planning to do a barbecue or camping here. If you're interested though, we'll leave links to the campgrounds we saw in the description. Alright, we've arrived back at our uh, little Toyota rental car um, and I found another spot that we're going to go to now. It's a cave. I won't say much more except that you climb through it and stuff. Doesn't that sound like fun? <laughs> Anyways, let's get going. It's our cute little unmanned car park. You might have done a... Why is it so close on my face? You might have done a, like a stop and dash, didn't we, Em? No, we did not. We paid our 1,000 yen, even though we parked for like one hour. <laughs> Maybe this doesn't make so much sense, but our destination is a limestone cave. It's one of only two, apparently, in Tokyo, and we're going to be doing it today. After a uh, change of clothes, we are ready. Apparently, there's spaces where you have to crawl through and whatnot, and you may get dirty. So, yeah, it's exciting, potentially. Not so good if you're claustrophobic. Anyways, let's get going. The challenging course, this is what it's gonna look like. I'm not the biggest fan of small spaces, so uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is giving me second thoughts right now. Like that gap right there, I don't think my booty can fit through that. <laughs> oh, let's try. So, this is the course, but if we wanna like do the challenging part as well, then we need to kind of like go in this green area as well. Oh, is that the scary tight area? Yeah. Is that the part where I might throw up if, with fear of claustrophobia and never being able to get out? <laughs> yes. All right. We will try our best. Oh my goodness, it's so cold. You can feel how cold it is. Yo, this feels like you're about to go into a fridge. I'm not even kidding. This is... Nah. They did say 10 to 11 degrees. Nah. Are you kidding me? Oh, this is crazy. This is where you close this. See ya. Bye bye. Ah. Have fun. <laughs> Oh, no way. <laughs> this is so much cooler than I expected. <laughs> no, no, no. No, no, no. Get me out of here. No, thank you. Oh, this is the stairs for the challenging course. Wait, we're going now? Yeah, it's at the very start. I have a helmet. 
Did you donk your head? Yeah. <laughs> Already. Yo, I low key feel like fucking Gollum, eh? Yeah. My precious. <laughs> jewelry palace. Why is it jewelry palace? Probably because you can stand up. What a fucking treasure that is. <laughs> oh, I never thought I'd be happy to stand up in my life. Koko nozoite ne iriguchi no tsuru ga miyeru. Oh. Oh. We're supposed to go up. Yeah, up. Yeah, I'll see you later. Oh no. Oh no. It's quite narrow. <laughs> oh, you can only just roll here. I think I my bum. I guess so, yeah. Probably should have recorded from the other side, huh? Oh, it's nice and flat, so I can yeah. just like go through my belly. <laughs> okay. Challenge complete. <laughs> Let's go. All up, the cave takes about 30 minutes to explore and costs 600 yen per person. While 30 minutes sound short, squatting for that long ended up being a pretty intense workout. Yay! We're done! Oh. Oh. oh, we did it! Oh my god, feel the heat! My glasses are fucking up! Oh. That was fun! That was fun! But the fun, I think, especially for kids as well. Yeah, I feel like my neck is sore from always like looking up like this. <laughs> Alright, now that we're finished with the hard adventuring for the day, it's time to treat ourselves. Wait for me! Wait! Thanks for waiting, boss. Alright, after our cave adventure, I'm pretty sure we deserve some sweets now. So we've got this amazing location and we got Sunday <laughs> and on the exit. Let's dig in. <laughs> Don't let them. Oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> This cafe is part of a pretty fancy but beautiful complex called Kudolchaya. It includes this cafe terrace and a restaurant that serves a traditional multi-course meal. Up next, we wanted to go to the recommended onsen in Akigawa Valley and thought it would be nice to rent a private bath. However, we found out that mixed bathing isn't allowed anywhere in Tokyo. So even if you rent a private bath, men and women aren't allowed to enter together. It was the first time we've ever heard about something like this, but we just decided to relax in the free foot bath instead. So who said a little bit of adventuring, like in the cave, can't also be with some uh, sweets and relaxation time. The onsen was so lovely, or I should say foot bath. So now that we're relaxed, it's time to get going back home to Tokyo even though we're still in Tokyo. <laughs> Anyways, thank you so much for watching until now. Please think about liking and subscribing if you like this video, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.